Hello, right, so I've got a desk set up here. As you can see, I'm trying to connect my Rode NT USB microphone to the camera. The camera is connected via Camlink 4K to the laptop. So dummy battery in the Sony ZV E10 that's up there. I have a standard audio jack to audio jack, male to male. We can hear the problem. The problem is because I've got electricity connection coming through the dummy battery, out through the HDMI, into the MacBook, you can hear the noise that's coming out and it's not gonna be very pleasant. So you can hear horrible buzzing in the background. That is caused by the HDMI. So you know, how do we get rid of this buzzing? This is a ground loop. It's being caused by a grounding loop between all of the electric components I've got here. You simply need a ground loop isolator. This was nine quid off Amazon. Oh, and then that's instantly solved. So now we can use the Rode via a 3.5 mil audio jack that's not getting any interference directly into the camera. And we're about to find out if we now capture some footage. And this is straight off the SD card. If now I open, I don't know, OBS and start recording over here, what would that audio sound like? So I'm going to cut here. Right, doing this. No monitoring. Uh, so now we have, I'm in the OBS capturing this footage. Cap uh, the mic's going straight into the camera by that audio, that audio connection uh, via the ground loop isolator. HDMI cables coming out into the Camlink 4K, into a Thunderbolt, into the MacBook. In theory, this should sound bang on. Um, within OBS, I've just set the camera and the audio settings to become from the Camlink 4K. So I am already kind of minimize the amount of work I've had to do, which is great. The only thing to say also is currently this is connected to USB because it needs, it's going to need to draw some power from somewhere to work. It looks like the volume, the levels are fine as well. But if I dick around with the, because this is just in the, head, the headphone out, but dicking around here is going to probably mess with. So I shouldn't really do that without monitoring. I'm going to put that back at, um, in the middle. Anyway, stuff to play around. But yes, it works to supplement Michael Ronin's video. If you add a ground loop isolator into the mix, you can capture a Rode USB mic out of the headphone jack into the mic jack through a Camlink 4K into the MacBook, capture footage that looks like this. So the beginning of the video is all shot directly from the SD card and everything you've seen since connecting this uh, has come from OBS. So now I'm curious to look at the visual difference and the video quality difference between those two sources. And there should be absolutely no reason. In fact, it would be almost impossible for the audio to be out of sync now that the audio and the video are all coming through a single cable uh, and from a single source, <laughs> he says. Let's find out.